So this is the wildlife habitat at Port Douglas. Um, magpie geese everywhere. They can come and go as they please. They can actually fly away and go wherever they need to go. Big old emu. How are you, mate? How are you, mate? How are you, mate? How are you? But yes, it's a great spot, and as you've, you'll see, Simon's going to be swimming like that far away from crocodiles. There is a bit of glass in between us. Um, but yeah, great spot. All sorts of things. So we are at uh, Wildlife Habitat today at Port Douglas. Um, we've just been around and had a look at the, the wallabies and the birds and cassowary. That was cool. Probably should have filmed that. Shireen's over there. Reluctantly raving. Um, but I'm going swimming with the crocodiles in there. That's where I'm going. Exciting, and he's a big bugger. One of them is like four meters, I reckon. It's got to be four meters, and he's over there. Over there. Probably can't see him real well at the moment, but yeah, you will get to see him up close because I'm taking you with me. There's a smaller one in there, but yes. We're going to have a bit of a wildlife talk and then I get to go in in front of everyone and swim. Poor them. Same as the goanna, that's where they run the show. This is a gorgeous jungle carpet python. Ooh! This one is called Gucci Gucci Lala. We'll touch this end because there's no business going on at that part. A thermal energy body heat. He's able to make an image in his tiny reptilian brain of what's going on around him by picking up your body heat. So he hangs there in a tree, just like he was doing now on this snake hook, using that muscular body, and he's able to slingshot a good third of his body straight out of the tree in the direction of what's creating all that heat. So that might be a little fruit bat, it might be a little possum, it could even be a little bird. So when he grabs hold of it with all those rear curved teeth, he wants to wrap around one of his muscular coils as quick as can be and give it a good old squeeze. Nice. So on the right hand so side, oh, yeah, so wow. see Big Al. Yeah. So what he's doing right now, we've got the minimal exposure technique, just exposing 3% of his body, eyes, ears, nose, yep. so to see, see, smell, and hear everything that's going on around him. Even if he was completely underwater though, he can still feel everything that's going on around him because yep. they have little pressure receptors over their entire body that allow them to pick up the vibrations of the surrounding area. So obviously depending what obstacles are in the way, but they can roughly feel about five meters from themselves in radius. Yep. Well, here we go. I'm, I'm in. <laughs> the big fellas in the, uh, the water here.
Someone's got a friend. What's your name? Lou. Lou's got a friend. And this is Max. Max. He's being. We tried to get out to the cassowary walk, and he found us after stopping for a snack break. He's been following us around for a good hour or two. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Beautiful red feathers, Max. Stunning. Mm. He's molting at the moment, so he's a bit itchy. Yeah. But very, very pretty. He's yeah. very needy. Cool. Thank you very much. Good day. You look like a statue. Yeah. 